dare you tamper with forbidden knowledge? So soon after your sentence into exile, you witness now the path toward salvation. You witness the rights, the one way to return to glory. Although still a young studio, Supergiant Games has been celebrated for their beautiful and recognizable style in their first two titles, Bastion and Transistor. Now after three years of development, they deliver Pyre, which is not only their biggest game to date, but presents an altogether different take on RPG combat. Pyre is set in a fantasy world where books and literacy have been outlawed by the Commonwealth. The journey begins as the reader is sentenced to the downside, a vast purgatory into which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and enemies. Upon meeting a small band of travelers, it's soon revealed that by participating in battles known as rites, you can earn your way back to the Commonwealth. The cast is a significant component of the narrative. Initially, you join forces with three companions, and you meet more to expand your roster as the game progresses. The banter and relationships among the Fellowship quickly becomes the heart and soul of Pyre. Information is thoughtfully doled out, and while there is an overarching plot, the relatable characters add an emotional urgency to the expedition. While moments during the final act are slightly long-winded, learning about each character's past deeds and possible future is fulfilling. Combat is more like a sport than a battle, featuring three-on-three -three clashes set in small arenas with varying aesthetics and obstacles. The goal is similar to basketball and tasks you to put a glowing orb into the opponent's pyre until it's extinguished. You only control one hero at any given time, but you can switch or pass to them with the tap of a button. Some characters move more quickly, while others move slowly but deal more damage. Furthermore, each character has an aura around them that banishes opponents for a short amount of time. If a character controls the orb, they become vulnerable and lose their aura, emphasizing patience and strategy when attempting to assault the opposing pyre. Each character has different abilities, strengths, and weaknesses. The demon Jodariel has a large aura and deals high damage, but walks painfully slow. Pamitha is a harpy with the ability to fly over dangerous hazards and auras, but who can be knocked down with a well-timed jump. When you begin to take all these variables into account, the strategy becomes increasingly complex despite the simple objective. Mastering movement, positioning, and timing are the keys to success. On normal difficulty, the battles are not too challenging, but activating Titan Stars before each right increases the difficulty and XP rewards. However, unlike most games which have you retry until you succeed, Pyre is in constant progression. Whether you win or lose a right, the narrative continues to advance, changing based on the result. Certain rights are much more important than others, and by losing certain battles, the outcome for the group may vary considerably. Initially, traversal is fairly linear, with different routes leading to the same destination. Certain party members may favor one path over another, rewarding you with items or stat buffs. Additionally, some routes offer the option to train in vocations. You can read the Book of Rites to gain permanent stat buffs for the entire party, search the area for items, or train an individual party member for a large amount of XP. Since each of the vocations feels important, it helps add extra strategy when navigating the world map and choosing the appropriate training. Each character can gain up to five experience levels by earning XP from battles or vocation training. After each level, you can choose one of eight skills with a maximum number of four active at any time. Skills add various buffs and stat increases that alter the gameplay in slight ways. At certain points, the group may also encounter Falcon Ron, the proprietor of a traveling item shop. Each character can equip one talisman, which can bestow simple stat boosts or more drastic changes like maintaining an aura as an orb holder. There's enough variety to cater to different playstyles, and since money is somewhat rare, talismans have a welcome impact on character development. The visuals are a stunning assortment of hand-drawn backgrounds and colorful animation. From the toxic, flagging Hanos to the desert of Jomir Valley, each location has a distinct aesthetic that plays into the vast history of the downside. Pyre also has a great versus mode, which you can play against the computer or locally with a friend. The ability to play as enemy combatants from the single-player adventure brings fresh characters to experiment with, and adds extra incentive to keep dueling even after the main story is completed. Sadly, there's no online mode, as battling against real-world players is far more alluring than the AI.
Fire offers a unique blend of storytelling and thrilling arena combat. The ability to duel against friends adds incentive to keep playing even after the game is finished, but it's the cast of characters that steal the show. They're unquestionably worth investing in due in part to the sprawling history and noble journey they embark upon, which you won't soon forget. Allies reviews are made possible by generous viewers just like you. If you like what you see, check out patreon.com/easyallies to see our other videos and consider becoming a patron to help us make more.